Hello, everyone, and welcome to an episode of Coffee and Conversation. My name is Ria. I am your host right here on Yachting International Radio. I would like to introduce a very special guest. Marcella, how are you today? Hi, Ria. I'm very good. Thank you. Hello from uh, Nice Airport. Yeah, well, you're on your way to Mets, aren't you? That's right. I'm going to Mets Trade Show and the Super Yacht Forum. Nice. Well, the reason we have you on board today is because we're really excited to announce that you're going to be hosting your own show called On Board with Marcella right here on Yachting International Radio. So thank you. We love to have great contributors such as yourself. And you have a lot of things that uh, you have going on that you can share with us. So we're really excited. Yes, that's right. And I'm very honored. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. This is a, a great opportunity for me to share all the knowledge along the way and, um, you know, Meet, I always meet interesting people and I love to share that and uh, I would love to, you know, just share the insights, business tips, travel tips, uh, yachting tips uh, of um, what I learned along, along the road and then share it with everybody. So, yeah, I'm happy to have everybody on board with Marcella. Well, let us know, find out a tiny little bit about you first. Where are you from originally? I was born in Guatemala, but I, I was raised a little bit globally. I studied in Miami, in Boston, Dubai, London. Um, and I've been living in Monaco now for about 14 years, but I am always um, traveling. I mean, I am a Guatemalan married to a German representing a Dutch company and just like a global rep. So I'm always uh, on the go. I'm always living out of uh, my luggage. So I'm one of those persons that has a little bit of a nationality disorder, they call it. Because um, you just feel like you're just a citizen of the world, a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got a blog. Um, you also work for, like you said, a Dutch shipyard company. I think it's Icon Yachts, is it? Yes, correct. I do the business development for Icon Yachts, and they are specialized in new builds and refits and conversions based in the north of uh, Holland. Okay. And tell us about this, this blog that you have. I mean, I've been actually having a chance to go through it a little bit. You've got a website that you just put up as well. Um, it, it is actually quite fascinating because it covers like a large aspect of what it's like, not only to be a, a working woman, but a working mother, as well as the yachting industry combined. There's there's quite a few tips and st it, it's, it's a very broad spectrum of information for many people. Correct, yeah, so it's a, you know, it's for working moms, but it's also for anybody in business. I would like to share all of my uh, business tips uh, travel tips, traveling for business, because I feel there's a lot of uh, travel bloggers, but there's not a lot of business travel bloggers. Uh, so for all of us traveling the world for work and always constantly on the go, having meetings with uh, different nationalities in different countries, um, I would like to learn all about the cultural aspects of doing business uh, with different um, nationalities, doing business abroad. Um, you know, just travel tips when you're traveling for work and then a little bit of the hassle and the juggle between being a mom and a, and a businesswoman. Um, and, and then, uh, yeah, the aim is just to, to have a more professional yachting industry and then uh, a more ethical industry as well. And then uh, just, um, you know, untie all of those misunderstandings uh, between cultures, just uh, learning about uh, each other's cultures. Well, and that's something really interesting because just recently uh, I had the pleasure of interviewing um, a, a sort of social media influencer um, and a lifestyle host uh, out of China. Um, and it's, it's really interesting to see the difference in cultures. And we managed to have a chat off screen just about how a lot of people from, say, the Western world, for example, would go over to China and try to do business the traditional way that is done here and fail miserably because they have no idea that it is such a different culture. Um, you are able to explain that to people, correct? Exactly. And that's exactly what I would love to do. Yeah. How to do business in Asia, how to do business in the Middle East. I mean, I am very lucky that I am in a position where I uh, sit and have uh, business meetings with uh, um, the royal families in the Middle East, with uh, Russian oligarchs, with uh, powerful people in America. Um, and then I am uh, always able to learn about, you know, their culture. And then I, I, I was raised around the world. I was uh, I've been traveling and studying everywhere. So I have this uh, little knowledge on cultural differences. And um, uh, this is something that you cannot learn in a textbook. And this is not something you cannot like learn uh, except by doing and by living and by experiences. And then by, you know, I feel that in the position that I am, that I travel so much, that I experience global business on an everyday basis, I think 
it's something that I'm passionate about is to share to the world about how to do deal with cultural differences and how to do business and how to have a successful um, life um, uh, balance between life and work and um, yeah just to make your business travel a little bit easier. Are you open to, to consultation, for example, if a business is looking to do business, you know, somewhere else in the world, are, are they available? Are you available for them to call or consult with? Yes. So part of uh, the program that I would like to do in my blog um, is I would like to put there, you know, the, just like a few tips on everything, how to do business. But I will also like in the future, I would like to do some sort of uh, program that you could uh, purchase. And then I can uh, do some sort of training to your sales teams or training to yourself uh, on, uh, before you're going to a, a meeting somewhere or if you're planning to expand and open offices in India and you would like to learn about the uh, protocol and the business etiquette and how to succeed over there. This is something that I would love to do in the future. But for now, I think uh, my hands are pretty full and I'm uh, very, very busy being a business development uh, consultant for Icon Yachts and working mom and... Uh, all these projects I have going on. Well, yes, I was going to say, I mean, there's there's so many things that you do have going on. You're also planning a book, aren't you? Yachting 101? Yes, exactly. So like I say, there's in yachting, there is nothing that you can learn. There is no references. There is no textbooks. So people joining the yachting industry, they, it's, it's all learning by doing. And um, there is nothing that you can, you know, just learn. So I mean, uh, Working and I, I've done a few conferences at the University of Monaco. I, uh, I graduated there, so I'm in very close uh, contact with them. And they have now a, a yachting um, specialty masters. So people going to the University of Monaco doing an MBA, for example, or a business degree, they can have a specialization in yachting. And then one of the projects is to do the first uh, yachting 101 book. But um, yeah, that would also is a long-term project. But we are currently working on the you know just the content. And, and then, um, yeah, hopefully I'll have some news soon. <laughs> well, do you know what? I don't know how you do it because um, I can tell you being a mother as well and a single mother, but it's it's a lot to juggle. You're always sort of worried about, you know, if you're missing your child while you're working and when you're, you know, with your child, you think you're missing something at work. And it's definitely a really difficult life balance. And you have sort of put added many, many more things on top of that as well. Not just one job. It seems like you have quite, quite a few jobs going on. You also do some charity work as well. Correct. So I have, uh, I'm one of the co-founders of AMLA, Association Monégasque pour l'Amérique Latine. And um, it's a association for Latin America, and we organize events throughout the year to raise funds and help um, our country. So I, mean, I like to stay true to my roots and where I come from. And I've been very lucky and very blessed to live in Monaco and have all these opportunities. But I do remember where I come from. And then my country is uh, very, very, very poor. So if there's anything I can do to give back, uh, and uh, I have uh, an amazing team. Uh, so we are five Monaco residents from Latin America. And then uh, together with my team, they are amazing. And we're always doing things uh, to help. So this Christmas, for example, we do activities for kids and we donate a treat to the um, hospital, to the kids' pediatrician emergency uh, section in the hospital. And then all the funds that we raise are always donated. But they are donated not to like a random charity. They are donated to someone that we know in our countries that will make use of that money to the best. That's amazing. Well, you know what? I know you're a very busy lady. You've got a flight to catch in like 20 right. minutes. Yes. <laughs> so you're heading off to Mets. And I would just like to advise everybody out there that uh, Marcella is going to be bringing her show on board with Marcella uh, from Mets. I guess we're going to be getting a few interviews over the next few days. And, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Um, and I'm sure that the viewers out there will as well. So thank you ever so much, Marcella, for coming on board with us here today. Thank you, Ria. Like, uh, for me, it's a great opportunity. I am really, really honored and I am very excited about this partnership. And I think uh, we really connect to each other. So thank you again for this opportunity. And then um, I look forward to it. Wonderful. Well, everyone out there, introducing you to Marcella and we look forward to seeing much more of her in the near future. I wish you the safe to safest of flights. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing your first interview. So thanks again. Everybody out there, we are going to be hearing more from her shortly. This has been Rhea for Yachting International Radio.